Ladies and gentlemen, back. Start this thing out, man. With old Terry Crews. If you guys have been watching the show, you know, a little while ago, Terry Crews came out and said how an executive in Hollywood grabbed him on his woo woo. Now women got woo woos. He has, let's say, testes. They toast him on his testes. All right. Now, Terry Crews. Once he said this, you had African Americans on Twitter, and it was African American men and African American women started going at him. But he only wanted to talk about the African American men. So he threw African men, African American men under the bus. He starts going on this rant about how black men wanted to pimp black women out and and trick black women and all of this crazy stuff. He went straight into coonery mode, right? But we as black men, a lot of us have we did shows. About this here and a lot of other black brothers Started giving him the business He said that He was One of the people who was going at him Is D.L. Hughley and then 50 Cent Asked him like the obvious question That anybody I think Would ask of a man of his stature and His size is that you let a dude Grab you on your nutsack Now he says that he wanted to Knock the hell out of 50 Cent he had knocked the hell out of D.L. Hughley. So our response is what? Why you didn't knock the hell out of the white dude? It's only right to ask that question. So you can be violent to black people, but not violent to those white folks. So he went to the Congress to tell this story. And Senator Feinstein from California she posed the same question to him that we did. How the hell did your, a man of your stature let some man grab you on your nutsack, bro? And he went into this babble, this tomfoolery talk of, well, you know, as a black man, it's really hard to get work in Hollywood and all of this type of stuff. So all of these black women came to his defense. The influencers that I tell you guys about here on this show a lot. They come to his defense. Now we told y'all. We told y'all that this dude was a sucker. So guess what happens now? Gabriel Union. She gets fired. From the TV show that she was on. For doing the very thing that Terry Crews refused to do. She stood up for herself. And she also stood up for uh, the Asian community because of the joke that Jay Leno told or whatever. And I'm going to test on that later. But right now, let's stick to Terry Crews. So Terry Crews, he comes under and he do what he did to black people, black men. He threw... Black women under the bus. So now we have all of these influencers. They are in there doing what they normally do. Attack black men. But before, they was congratulating him, saying that he was not like black men. He wasn't as toxic as them black men. Because you know as black men, we are the white supremacists of the black neighborhood. Let these black influencers tell it. If we was the white supremacists of the black neighborhood, then how come y'all ain't kissing black men's ass? Because that's what y'all do to white people. Y'all kiss their ass. So if we the white supremacists of the black neighborhood, then y'all should be kissing our ass. But they are there now talking about Terry Crews. Do this black woman on the bus. You know this is what black men do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute now. 
Is this the Terry Crews who we as black men were telling y'all was a weirdo? And that was Coonan? That Terry Crews? Because you guys was all on Terry Crews' job when he was throwing black men under the bus. See, you can't be pro-black and only care about one gender. See, when Terry Crews threw black men under the bus, you should know that the other shoe's going to drop eventually. I haven't met anybody who was racist in my life who just hated black men. They also hate black women. And see, this is the thing about these misandrous women who call themselves feminists. All y'all sisters out there who follow these women, I want you to start paying attention to something for me. I want you to start asking tough questions of these women and you'll see that these women is just as anti-black against black women as they are against black men. So you guys just don't test them. But they'll start talking to you like you're an idiot. The very moment that you start questioning some of the things that they say. But see, these women, they don't see men. Black men. Well, no, they see black men as humans who are flawed. But they don't see themselves as humans. See, with them, it's no accountability on them whatsoever. See, when a woman beats up a guy and a guy hits her back, they tell you that the guy is wrong. They know the reason why they do that? Because they only see men as predators and never victims. And they never see women as predators. They only see women as victims. So now. They totally. Want to not focus on the fact that we as black men told them. About Terry Crews. See. We have a problem. With some of these black. Feminist women these misandrous women And the problem that we have with them is that these women Have no problem Promoting coonery And mammyism They all for it They all for it until The people who are cooning And mammying it up Says something About black women See You can be racist You can be prejudiced And bigoted Towards black men But you can't be that To black women They get upset then But you can go around and Say stuff Like Black men are Bullock bags The police ain't shooting you niggas fast enough They can say all that About black men And then come back and say Well we're not talking about all black men We're just talking about Black men who do stuff But they never say that And then Why do you just say black men anyway Joking about the death Of Trayvon Martin what did Trayvon Martin do? What did Eric Gardner do? What did Philando Castillo do? For you to be joking about black men getting shot by the police. See, they didn't do nothing to no black woman. There's no black woman saying that those guys did anything. So you're not talking about bad black men. You're talking about Trayvon Martin. You're talking about Eric Gardner. You're talking about Philando Castillo. You're talking about all of those black men who got shot because that's why police brutality is the talk 
of America now because of those black men who got shot. So you wasn't talking about bad black men. You was talking about black men in general. That's why you were saying it. But see, it's okay to joke about black men in that manner. Because you feel that, oh, we're trying to hold black men accountable for their actions. But it's always funny because when black men call women bitches, hoes, sluts, cunts, and gold diggers, that's what they think they're doing to women and holding you accountable. But then you'll start saying, hey, you guys are generalizing. You guys are projecting the action and views of some women on all women. But you guys think it's perfectly fine for you to do that to black men. It's okay to be bigoted and prejudiced against black men. Hell, everybody do it. But when Terry Crews throw one of y'all under the bus, now y'all want to trump him back in to the toxic black men category. Oh, see, he just like the rest of those black men. But it's funny, though. Because you'll see black women trashing other black women all the time. Trashing black women about they lace front wigs. Trashing black women about they eyebrows. But they never get that same smoke that y'all get for black men for pointing out the same thing that those black women just pointed out. It's funny how that works, right? Funny how that works. The same way how dark-skinned black women in this country could talk about colorism, but only pertaining to black men. Colorism is wrong. Colorism is bad. These black men only want to date light-skinned women, mixed-race women, Latinos and white women. They pretty much discriminate against dark-skinned black women. Those same black women were hot and hula. I mean, holler and hula about Meghan Merkel marrying Prince Harry. How come that white man, Prince Harry, don't get that? He's a colorist. Only reason he dated her is because she get light skin privilege. The same black women also who cries and whine about colorism. When you start looking around, you see a pattern that goes on. Is that dark skinned black women are the main women that you see dating outside of their race with white guys. Well, that's how, how do you criticize colorism and then indulge in creating colorism? Please make it make sense. Like the girl Azalea Banks. Remember when she was on Nick Cannon's show and the dude told the joke, said um, Nick Cannon couldn't get Cardi B so he got Azalea ugly ass. And she said, that's some colorism shit. That's some colorism shit. But then you ask yourself a question. The last time you seen Azalea Banks with a black dude? Not ever. This woman, a month before, she was on Nick Cannon's show. She was on there talking on uh, Hot 97. She was on there talking about how a white man had raped her in a hotel room. Did she blame all white men for that white man who raped her? Nope. What about the old white man? I think he was. she said he was like 54, 55 years old that was sleeping with her when she was 18 and taking advantage of her. Did she blame all white men for what that white man did to her? Nope. But somehow, once Nick Cannon, one dude, that's on Nick Cannon's show, cracked this joke about her and Cardi B, all black men now get penalized. She put out a tweet saying, I'm done with black men. I gave y'all a chance. You would think you would be done with white men after they raped you. But somehow, you weren't done with them. You weren't done with them at all. But now, you done. Didn't these black and gay people do this? Same thing earlier last year, people? When black men 
was telling them that Jesse Smollett was full of shit. And they told us to shut the hell up because black men, you homophobic. Then it turned out that Jesse Smollett was lying just like we said he was. Just like we said he was. But now they want to try to trump Terry Crews back in with us. Nah, boo. That's y'all feminist king. That's y'all feminist king. Y'all got to accept him. Y'all got to take him with y'all. Because he's down with that coonery the same way y'all down with mammyism. Y'all a match in coonery heaven. We we don't we don't we don't we don't we don't want Terry Crews back over here. Man, no, y'all can go over there and watch him move his titties around or something. You know, he, that's what he do is shake his titties for white folk. Y'all can go and watch him shake his titties around, but we don't we don't want him back over here. Uh uh-uh. uh, nope. But y'all are not finna blame black men for Terry Crews. Because that's y'all hero. We warned you about it. Now, I want to talk about Gabriel Union. Because Gabriel Union's hand is not all clean here, bro. Now, you have a bunch of Asians in Hollywood. Have y'all seen any Asians come out and ride for Gabriel Union? Because I haven't. I haven't. I haven't seen any of them. I haven't seen Andrew Yang. He's running for president right now. I haven't seen him come out. Hell, Andrew Yang didn't even stand up for himself when the dude from SNL made the uh, racist comments about the Asian community and with him involved. He didn't even stand up then. But also, with Gabriel Union, she talked about being thrown under a bus. She put that tweet out. Talking about Terry Crews threw me under the bus. And man, I recall. I do. I recall. Gabriel Union throwing a black man under the bus a couple years ago. Nate Parker. That's his name? That's his name? Nate Parker. You remember when she threw Nate Parker under that bus? She had done the movie Birth of a Nation His, Was it co-host in the movie? Co-actor in the movie? She threw him up under that bus? Over A rape allegation Where this man goes to court And get acquitted Ladies and gentlemen For raping a white woman He got acquitted They brought it back up to sink the movie Guess who won One of the leading voices on that thing Was Gabriel Union now, also, Gabriel Union was talking about she's been in the media lately for the acceptance of Wade's son being gay. Right? But you know what? About a year earlier, about a year earlier, she told a story about how she saw Wade's son, Zaire. He was on Instagram and he was liking light skinned women pictures, Cuban women pictures. She wasn't so acceptance of old Zaire as she was his son, other son being gay. She told him, no, no, you, 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 you being a colorist. I was like, wait a minute. Don't y'all tell gay people that they can love who they want to love. Don't you treat gayness like it's a disease? The same way you treat love? You can't help who you love. That little dude couldn't help who he was attracted to, right? But she told him, no, he should focus on black girls. I agree. But at the same time, we need some consistency here, right? We need some consistency here. But no, she didn't tell Wade 
youngest son that he could not be gay. That that was wrong. You need to grow up and marry you some black woman and treat her like the queen of the world. But that's what he told. She told his son Zaire. See how these people, man, there's a walking contradiction. There's no consistency in them whatsoever. None. But what's good for the goose is good for the goddamn gander. But not in their world. They can be as inconsistent as hell. And they think that you don't supposed to say anything about that. At all. But it was amazing to see her be the one talking about somebody who threw her under the bus when she threw Nate Parker under the bus. And all of the same influencers, the misandrous women that I'm telling you about, all of those women jumped on Nate Parker. All of them did. Now, when these black women who be doing this stuff, They'll tell you that, hey, when black men date outside of their race and date white women, they'll say, hey, man, we are telling black men not to date in outside of their race because we are concerned. Because you know that white women lie on black men and get them arrested for rape. Yeah. And y'all turn around and believe those right, th those same white women that you saying they're accusing black men of rape, just like you did with Nate Parker. Just like you did with Nate Parker. But act as if, no, we're doing this to protect black men. Because you know those white women, they lie. They lie, I tell you, they lie on black men. Yeah, black men are 6% of America's population, but make up 60% of the men who are exonerated for rape. So you know what that means. White women are not the only one who lying on black men. Some other people who lying about black men too. But we don't post to say anything about that Because we can't hold black women accountable for nothing And if we do we sexist And please just say that you hate black women and move on But This accountability thing goes both ways Go two ways But With Colin Kaepernick One thing I always said about Cap. Is that <clears throat> I appreciate it Cap doing what he did He kneeled okay for black folks And the people who were being shot and killed But one of the problems I had is Cap There's so many black people in this country bro Who wouldn't dare do the same thing That you did The same black people who you see Amping up Gabriel Union Those people would not do the same thing that Gabriel Union did At all They would have sat there quiet And done nothing Because that's what they were celebrating Terry Crews for doing Doing nothing And the, the eraser though Anytime black women do something bad People erase it. They don't see it. Black men do something bad. Amplify it by 100,000. And make it 20 million black men in America. They'll tell you all 20 million of black men are toxic masculinity. All black men are bad. But the same women would get mad when black men be out here saying bitches, hoes, and sluts, and cunts. The same one. But y'all people have to get over y'all trauma, man. And see, the problem is, with a lot of y'all, is a refusal to heal. Refusal to heal. So when you see people who are allied to you and try to let you know that, hey, we all not bad. Same thing with women. When women, you see women who are not whores, sluts, gold diggers and shit like that, then you must reframe yourself 
from calling them that. You have to reframe yourself from doing that. Because if not, you're going to walk around sad and angry your whole life. Because of some woman who hurt you years ago. And now you thrusting that pain and trauma on everybody else. Because some dude hurt, some girl hurt you or some dude hurt you. And you refuse to heal from it. But everybody got to heal from the problems. And the pain and hurt that have been caused to them, man. Because if not, you're going to go around thrusting that on everybody else. You're going to go around putting that on everybody else. And everybody else don't deserve that. And you don't deserve the pain and hurt that that person inflicted on you. But you also don't deserve going around and being angry and sad and depressed and pissed off at everybody who's the opposite gender of you because some man or some woman hurt you before. But y'all got to heal, man, from y'all trauma. Y'all have to. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one.